Hi, so this is Judy coming to you from Asian Lifestyle Television. Here we have Ted Park Boy, our New York-based Asian-American musician, uh, making it big out here. Uh, let's talk to him and get to know more about him. Hi, Ted. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Thank you so much for being out here with me. Um, I know you have this hectic, crazy schedule. Um, do you care to share the big announcement with us? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, tomorrow, I mean, I know it's gonna air later, but uh, we just found out that uh, the They Don't Know music video is gonna be premiering on Billboard as an exclusive, so. Don't let say my name. I don't have time to make the correction. So how did it happen? Yeah, uh, you know, we had a very eventful uh, weekend, the other weekend at, at, at my uh, sold out release party in New York. Shouts to MK. And uh, Mikey Fresh, who helps us out a lot, who's at Genius.com, you know, he put the word in and uh, Billboard, uh, they took the bait, so very thankful. What brought you to New York and let us, I mean, let us know about you. Yeah, I feel like I'm a very lucky guy for what happened, but I mean, this whole journey has had a little bit of luck and everything happens for a reason, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, and uh, I just wanted to chase my dream, so I took a chance, took that leap of faith, came to New York. It uh, wasn't easy, but we're here now, and that's all that matters. Early last year, I think January, yeah, uh, Jay Park DM me on Instagram. Like, yeah, it, trust me, it, I was like, I was like, oh man, you know. Uh, so yeah, Jay hit me up, like, yo, you're mad talented, wanna link up. We linked up in Korea. Uh, so when he had hit me up, he was coming to New York for a Rock Nation brunch and those type of things. And I was going to Korea, because uh, Cut Studio flew me out. Um, and we linked up in Korea during the last three days of my trip. And you know, Jay threw the bait. He was like, I want you to come to my international label, Higher Music, I want to partner up. I want to do some dope things. And you know, Jay is inspirational to like every Asian American kid yeah. growing up that wants to make music. So, you know, I, we, we teamed up and uh, it's been great. Korean pop has immensely blown up. Um, what's your take on that influence and how do you differentiate yourself as an artist in that movement? You know, as artists, as an independent artist per se, like we can joke about how K-pop is like robotic and et cetera and meticulous. But the reality of the situation is that these groups and these K-pop artists work and train so hard. You know, they've been perfecting their craft, their dance, their look, all the moves, the vocals. They've been perfecting and training for years and these companies select the best of the best. So the reason why I think K-pop is blowing up is there's always been this stigma on Asian people as not cool, like, right? Like, they're not cool, but all of a sudden there's these K-pop groups doing cool-ass moves right, and right. making catchy songs, and <clears throat> it breaks the stereotype, and the reality is that the music videos are so good. The shows are so choreographed. It's very high quality, and it has great fan experience, and that's why at the end of the day, I got nothing but love for K-pop, you know what I mean? Like, I might not make K-pop music, I, I may consider myself different, unique, individual, but like, hey, like, these guys and the girls work very hard on their craft, and they do one hell of a job and put on one hell of a show, so, you know, that's why I think K-pop's blowing up. I think Asian people are, are cool as hell, you know, and people are finally seeing it, and uh, they work hard, and they have a great presentation, and that's, that's what matters. What advice would you give to an aspiring youth Let's just say um, you in the past, yeah. as a teenager, what advice would you give as present you? It's funny because Ted Park three years ago, knew, no one knew who I was. I was getting 100 views, 75 views on YouTube. I had like 600 followers on Instagram, uh, whatever. Uh, the only advice I can give is that you have to really want this and need this. I know everyone tries to just tell that feel-good story of, oh, just chase your dreams and it will happen. The reality is that so many people want to be successful, right? But you need to need to be successful. You need to need it, not, oh, I want to make music to be cool. You need to do this because you love it and be willing to give your life for it and not expect this to happen in three months, three years. You have to be willing to grind for this for 30, 300 years if you have 300 years to live, right? You, yeah, you need to need it. And I think that you need to study what you're getting into. You need to know that you're about to devote 100% of your time. You're going to lose relationships, friends, family along the way. But you need to believe that the message and the platform you'll get if you get there is going to be worth it. I'm alive, so alive for you. I want to show you that dreams can go true. Even when they say that you won't. And the worst way to go is to do what you love for you. 
when I made that song, like, I was like at a really low point last year, you know what I mean? And like, artists go through ups and downs, no matter how successful, no matter how many fans. Because we're people, and I, I think I want to show people that music, it doesn't always have to be about the good, the fun stuff, the turn up, the party, oh, making money, boom, boom, boom. Like, I want to show people that we're vulnerable and we're people as well, and that's why I made Ugly. Because it's a, it's a subject that you may not want to touch on, aka your insecurities, but you know that's why I made the song, and that's why it's such a personal and special record to me. Because for the first time, like I, I might I might be a smooth talker or whatever, but like in my music, but in reality, I was always very shy, and I music is the first time I've been able to fully express my voice, and I think that's the first song I've released where I did that. So, you know, that's why that song is so special to me. I would never imagine you as a shy kid, <laughs> just by the way no, you're speaking I, right I now. Be, I used to be very shy. Uh, I didn't have a lot of friends growing up, especially like elementary school, middle school, even high school, you know. I always wanted to fit in, but, you know, I realized I could never fit in and could never just make friends like that because I was never meant to fit in. I was meant to stand out. Ted is very famous at the moment, you know, but he's, he's, he's getting more famous as we speak. But where can we find you on social media? Where can you find where can we find you? Yeah, like Twitter, Instagram, everything at Ted Park Boy B O I. You know, shouts to Big Sean for the reference. I can't lie. You know, uh, Ted Park Boy. Uh, you know, and I just want to say too that like I've been featured from very early on on places such as like Complex, Billboard, Hypebeast, Korea, Hip Hop DX, whatever, Elevator, Spotify playlist, but. I realized that I didn't really start getting core fans until I started making my rounds, doing FaceTime, doing the shows, etc. I just want people to understand that don't chase a cosign and that group of fans you have, like I think people, we always get unsatisfied with our craft, with our position. Never forget, like always cater and respect and show enormous amount of love to the people that do support you. Because if those, those people ride with you to the end, like, those are really special fans as family, you know? If I can inspire and touch one person to go do their thing and beat the odds, and that's all that matters to me. Because like, even like with the Asian stereotype in hip hop culture, in K music culture, whatever, like I'm, I don't look like the typical artist that's supposed to be successful in Korean music. I don't look like a K pop rapper, whatever, but I, I'm just doing me, you know, I'm just doing me. I'm being myself, I'm having fun. I'm doing what I love and touching a lot of lives. So, you know, for me, it's just like, hey, I don't have an expectation to where I'm going to be in two years, but just know I'm going to put that work in and we'll see what happens. Yeah, and I know that his fans love him for who he is and not of a typical, like, brand that you situate yourself in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I, I got to say, too, like, uh, yo, sh shout out to all the Ted Park fans uh, worldwide because, uh, you know, you guys showed me that it's possible for uh, an Asian American, a Korean American kid from Madison, Wisconsin to do big things. Uh, the support they give me, honestly, makes me feel like a million dollars, billion dollars every day. Uh, I got the best fans in the world and like did they support so much and like I'm so thankful so grateful for all of you. We wish you the best of luck Thank you. and um, we'll see you in your next concert. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs>